everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is video number 8 in my PC build series. And in this video I'm going to be doing all of the internal wiring on the PC, so let's get things underway. So that concludes all of the wiring up, everything's actually wired in perfectly now. Now I'm just going to spend some time tidying up the wires just so that it increases sort of maximum airflow in this front portion of the case. Okay, so that's completed the cable tidying, and as you can see, the only real cables I've got coming round into the front here is this uh, the large power cable going to the motherboard, and also to my graphics card. All the rest of the cables are nice and tidily hidden behind and cable tied where necessary. I didn't cable tie the hard drive uh, SATA cables because if I need to pull out a hard drive, I need those to just just come out easily without me having to clip cable ties around the back. Before you do put the cover on, just go around all of these connectors again and just check that everything is seated properly. I did have quite a struggle getting this power connector on, but that seems to have gone on nicely. And just check everything's pushed on nice and firmly and all clicked into place because this might save you a little bit of time later on. Everything seems absolutely fine. Let's pop this side cover back on. Extremely easy case to work with. Side cover's gone on so, so easily as well. Just back round to the back and just put these thumb screws in. So we've got that side panel back on now and that completes the build for this series. There is one additional video tomorrow which will be covering off the Windows 7 installation. Also the setting up of those SATA uh, drives in the RAID configuration. So please check the Geek and Noise channel tomorrow where I'll be showing you how to install the OS on this system and also benchmarking it. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions. 
the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.